Good morning. I recently chanced upon the Radio 4 programme This Cultural Life when presenter John Wilson was interviewing Jarvis Cocker, frontman of Pulp, one of the biggest bands of the Britpop era. Among other things, Cocker talked about the relationship between culture and real life, and in particular how he finds inspiration for his songs. For many years, he'd looked for inspiration from culture instead of his experiences and what actually happens. It was an accident, falling out of a window as a young man and spending six weeks in hospital, that made him realise inspiration was never going to land on him from on high. Instead, he began drawing on his own experiences, and this gave weight to his songs, making them convincing and enabling others to connect. Sometimes there's a perception that religion, like culture, is something out there that we must be inspired by. That faith is about a set of rules which exist in a vacuum and that if believed and lived by, they'll somehow unlock the door to spiritual fulfilment. But to truly believe, faith has to make sense within the context of our particular experiences. Jesus was intensely interested in the everyday lives of ordinary people. The Gospels are full of stories, he told, which speak of his capacity to connect faith to the lived experiences of those in first century Palestine. And today, the church, and perhaps all faith groups, are arguably at their best when engaged with and connecting with the reality of people's lived experiences, taking seriously the diversity and complexity of human life, journeying with those lost in grief following the death of a loved one, for example, or giving space to young people searching to discover themselves and the meaning of life. This is faith informed by experience, helping to make sense of life in all its convoluted intricacy. Yet there are also timeless truths which for Christians are revealed in the person of Jesus Christ. Truth which author and theologian Elaine Heath refers to as the tradition behind the traditions that have emerged over time. And the Christian tradition that transcends time, Heath says, is that God in Jesus continues to make all things new. The task for Christians then is to rediscover and reinterpret that truth afresh in each generation. In this cultural life, Jarvis Cocker too spoke of cultural artefacts so significant that they're of lasting value. Poetry, paintings, music, sculptures and so on that continue to have an impact years after first being created with the power to connect and inspire artists anew. The Bishop of Chelmsford there with her thought for the day at 10 to 8.